Hello, this video is to help you understand how you can use a liquid pressure sensor to turn any Lawrence solar pump into a smart water management system. So here is the sensor. It's a pressure transducer that measures pressure in a tank, vessel or pipe. The measurement from the sensor is going to be in bar if you're using metric units and in PSI for US units. The sensors are marked in KPA, kilopascals. 100 kPa equals 1 bar, which equals about 14.5 psi. Now the sensor is installed, we can switch on the system and configure it. I've connected to the pump with pump scanner. I'm going to the installation settings menu, scrolling down to analog input 1, which is where we've connected the sensor. I'm going to select the sensor type as pressure sensor, and in my measuring range I enter 5 bar, and save settings. That's all the configuration complete. So let's imagine now that we want to control the water going to a remote tank. What we can do is add a float valve to the tank that will close when the tank's full. The behaviour we expect is the pump will pump water along the pipe. As the valve closes, pressure in the pipe will rise and at that point we want to switch off the pump. To configure this, I'll go to the feature settings, select control pump by pressure. This is in bold because we've got a pressure sensor configured. The sensor is on analog 1, again bold, and I'll choose pressure on off switch. In our example I want the pump to switch off when the pressure is above 1 bar. I will save that and let's see what happens. So now I go back to actual data, we can watch the pressure sensor 1 reading. As I close the valve, tank is full, the valve opens and the pump switches off. The pressure drops in the pipe now. You'll see the pump restarts, the pressure rises, the pump stops. With a long line pipeline already with this simple configuration we have tank control. As we have a short pipe in this example the pressure drops very quickly. What we can do now is we can introduce a timer so that the pump will not cycle on and off I'll go back to my feature settings, go to control by pressure on analog 1 and I add a timer delay of 1 minute and save. Let's check that that's working. The pump's behaving as we expect. Now the pump waits. We can always see the pump is in a waiting state with the timer as the green light's flashing. We can also see that the tank full LED is on, indicating to customers that the remote tank is, is now full. 